Well, I guess I'll start here by saying this is what I believe a traditional 80s boombox should look like. This is also one of my favorite models right here because it's so simple to operate. It only has a tone control that sounds very good with dual six and a half inch woofers and two inch tweeters. And it has seven and a half watts channel or 15 watts total on 8D batteries. Now, just make sure it's, what day is it here? It's uh, Saturday, December 9, 1528. And I've been so distracted with so many other things, but because what I wanted to show off was basically this one here, which is a, what is this? This is a, uh, a sharp GF8585, another model I really like, but I have not had time to delve into it and check it all out. Now, if you notice there, it's got some dust in the back, and it's got full feature there, back there, okay. I tried putting it, I wanted to run it on batteries, but I couldn't because the uh, batteries, the battery things in the back are really corroded, but I'll fix that. But now, I'll just play it for you briefly. So here's the radio. I'm Congressman Bill Flores. Teaching children to read at an early age can make a big difference in their future success. Now, of course, the cassette deck here does not work, doesn't do anything. So here, if I flop it down, well, I really can't do that. I just put it here like this. So if we hit the, um, let's see, if we hit what? Play does nothing, right. and then rewind does nothing, and fast wind does nothing. Okay, all right, so now let's get our one of these here. Okay, that in there, okay. put that in, hit that, and then put it on tape. Okay, so tape, hit play. Did you hear that? Now if we go and get the... There it goes the other way. Great. Now we get the phone. Hit that. Come on, there we go. Hit this. Hit that. So that works. So, there's that. Okay, we all know that the that works on there, and then of course I just keep this short. Wanted to compare this to the um, what is this? The uh, Panasonic 5280 and the Philips uh, 8514, and then we have the what is this? This is the uh, Sanyo 9935, of which I have two of. Okay. Um, and then, of course, let's, where's the flashlight go? Let's see here, flashlight. Turn that off. I just had a flashlight here. I set it down. There it is. Okay. And then up here, there we go. Wait, there we go. So there's that. And you see, though, this one has a the horn, which is kind of sort of what I was going for, is looking for radios that have a horn. Now, this one has a horn, but it's just a flat diaphragm. This has a cone. That actually has a, a nice piezo with a nice horn. So this one sounds actually quite good for what it is. Again, that has just a flat diaphragm back there. Not really a horn presence. And then this one, I haven't taken it apart, but I think that the uh, tweeters are off to one side on the inside. I've seen some pictures of someone else. So they're not exactly in the center. I think they're off to one side. So, But I'll know that later when I get a chance to 
fix a cassette deck in this one. So let's see. So what else can I show you? That's just that's oh, I know. What's in your closet? Like that commercial, you know, Capital One, what's in your wallet? Well, here's what's in my closet. <laughs> there is a you know, Panasonic 5080 new in the box. It's old and tattered, but yay, yeah, it's new in the box. I know that. That's one of my keepers. And then up here, even well, you can't see it. Maybe you can. There's an M90 up there. And then a uh, an A38. And that's a Sony Rhythm capsule. That's new in the box. That's for sale. Sixteen hundred dollars. Anybody? Okay. So, and there's a you know. Oh, well, there were in the flashlights. There's my, another keeper of mine. You know, this is the speakers. And that's the main unit, and then I've got a 6400 underneath. And I just got Walkmans, cassettes, and all of these in here. Alright, so this is the bedroom. I don't sleep on the bed, never have. And here are these up here. The Sharp is for sale right away. The red one, the Mitsubishi, not yet. The Sanyos I gotta work on. I haven't had a chance to. This one here, there's a. Anyway, and then that. I'll get you that. That's the 9000 is not for sale. The Panasonic is for sale. The, uh, what is that? Fisher's for sale, both of them. This one and one over there. The one works. The other one, the cassette player works, but no sound. Uh, and there's my. Another text message. Let me get the phone. Well, we're not going to do that, but we know it was a text. All right, and then just walk in here and leave the light on good. Okay. Let's see here. Is a my only egg I have, a Panasonic, I can't remember. And then, of course, I, was t I still have this uh, 931 Lasonic. Somebody asked me about a crown. And this is just what I have here in this room briefly. Okay. Now there's a crappy M70. Alright, and then, um, we're not going to go here. Let's see, I've got boxes of things I still haven't opened for at least five years. And yeah, there's a crown. There's the other crown I have, but I haven't opened yet. Let me just walk in here briefly. Okay, walk, walk, walk. I'm really disappointed I was able to get the cassette deck to work, but I could not get the... I could not get the the audio to work. Something wrong with either the capacitors or the chips. I'm not sure. But I'm just disappointed with this model. So I gotta go. Hope that I'll fix the rest of these later. I don't know, just my <laughs> anyway, that's all I know. Good day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my blog if you will. Good day. Bye.